Ladies and gentlemen, the Škoda Auto press conference is about to begin. Gentlemen, please welcome Head of Communications Skoda Auto, Pike von Westenbostel. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to our Skoda press presentation here at the Auto Expo in New Delhi. It is a pleasure for us to have you all here today. From our mother company with us today are Dr. Ulrich Hackenberg, member of the Volkswagen Board, responsible for research and development, and Dr. John Chaco, president, Volkswagen India. Gentlemen, welcome at Skoda. <laughs> with us today are also almost all Skoda board members, and for this press conference, I would like to especially welcome Professor Winfried Farland, CEO of Skoda, Dr. Eckhard Scholz, board member responsible for research and development, and Jürgen Stackmann, board member responsible for sales, marketing and after sales, and in our board he is responsible for the Indian business. And then I have a lot of young friends which I would like to welcome also very much and you will see what role they will play later on. Ladies and gentlemen, today we brought you a new Škoda car to this show and some news. And for that, I would like to hand over to Professor Farland. Winfried Farland, please enter the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman of the Board of Management of Škoda Auto, Professor Dr. Winfried Farland. Yeah, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, it's also a pleasure from my side to welcome you here in New Delhi on the Skoda press conference. I would also like to take the opportunity to wish you and your families all the success and a safe year 2012. The year that just ended is Skoda's most successful one in its 116 years of corporate history. With around 875,000 cars as a preliminary figure, we sold more cars worldwide than ever before. Compared to 2011, 11, our deliveries increased by around 15%. Growth was outstanding in all world regions. We gained market share in all important markets. 2011 was also a milestone for Škoda, not only in numbers, but it was also the start of the greatest model offensive ever. And we had a record year also in India. Škoda's performance in India is promising. Last year has seen us take a significant leap towards or forward in this market. At the end of the year, sales were up by 50% to more than 30,000 deliveries to customers. This is the best result ever since we entered the Indian market 10 years ago. In December alone, we bought to our customers more than 4,000 cars. And for 2012, we expect in India a similar growth rate as we did and achieved in 2011. We are growing much more strongly than the overall market. We translate this in increasing market share of 1.3%. Our Skoda Superb is successfully holding 
the segment leadership. And short after market launch, our Skudi Yeti, Yeti climbed up to the second position in the segment of the European compact SUVs. For Skoda, India is a strategic cornerstone. Here at the New Delhi Motor Show, we display our new compact limousine, the all-new Skoda Rapid, for the first time at any show worldwide. The new Skoda Rapid is the first car of a series of new vehicles that will be introduced over the next years. The Rapid is designed for Indian car roads and manufactured at our Skoda's Shakan plant in Pune. This compact limousine will extend our model range in the segment between our Fabia and the Laura. It is a right car at the right time. The Rapid establishes our presence in the Indian largest segment. It is a car with a lot of room, a pleasant design, good safety features, and for sure modern technology. A car impressively embodying Skoda's simply clever brand promise. It will become a cornerstone in our strategy here in India. And we are happy that the Skoda Rapid already won the BBC Top Gear India Award 2011 in the family, uh, family car of the year category. The new Skoda Rapid will target customers in the upper compact car segment. The vehicle will, have an afford will be an affordable choice in this very competitive part of the market. We are placing high expectations on the Skoda Rapid. We expect it to be the best-selling car in Skoda's model lineup here in India. For this year, our first year, we aim to sell more than 25,000 cars. This means that with the launch of the Rapid, Skoda's growth strategy in India is taking on new dimensions. The overall 2011 result demonstrates that we have executed Skoda's growth strategy and model offensive well in the first year of its introduction. We are well on course to reach our strategic ob objective to sell at least 1.5 million cars by the year 2018. To sum it up, ladies and gentlemen, 2011 was an excellent year in all respects for Skoda. In our opinion, the Indian market continues to hold huge potential. But, not let's, but now let's have a look to some impressions of our new Skoda Rapid. Thank you very much. Skoda. Simply clever.